Let's Jackie's ready. <laughs> You're going to have to do the second in here. I think they're the. Okay. Let's uh, call to order the Planning Committee meeting for Wednesday, June 5th. Um, please note the gang's all here. We'll do the Pledge of Allegiance at the next meeting. Uh, public comment is open. Anyone in the audience wish to address this august body on anything not on the agenda? Going once, twice. Laughing doesn't count. Public comments closed. Approval of the minutes. Any uh, addition? Holy Secretary. cow. What did, uh, motion, uh, Abelson, second, Mitchoff. The ladies get it this time. All those in favor say aye. Opposed? Aye. Consent calendar items 1 through 14. Anybody wish to push any? Approval. Second. Did you get that? Yes. Kevin, Janet, all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Aye. Or abstain, seeing none. Matt, you're up. 15. Thank you, Chair Hudson, committee members. Um, I'm here to present uh, this item, which uh, is about the East County Integ Integrated Transit Study. Um, since planning began on EBART, uh, the extension to Antioch, the ultimate vision has been to extend service further into East County and specifically to the Brentwood area. Uh, the BART service to Pittsburgh and Antioch opened uh, last year and instantly exceeded ridership expectations as well as overwhelming uh, the parking supply at the Antioch station. In the meantime, CCTA has been working with the City of Brentwood, BART, and Tri-Delta Transit to create an intermodal center at the McCallamy uh, Trail overcrossing of uh, Highway 4. And that would be in order to provide a bus connection to BART, a park and ride, as well as providing the footprint for a future BART station. In November of 2018, CCTA applied for a Caltrans Sustainable Communities Grant under the SB1 program in order to, to fund a study to evaluate the feasibility of expanded transit service between Antioch and Brentwood. And just last month, Caltrans notified staff that CCTA was awarded $755,000 to perform the study. Um, a local match is required to receive the grant, and that amount is 97800 and that would be funded primarily by local uh, agency and authorities in-kind staff time. So the purpose of this item tonight is to authorize the executive director of the authority to execute a grant agreement with Caltrans, which will allow the authority to uh, uh, receive reimbursement for expenditures related uh, to the study, and once the grant agreement is in place, the authority may uh, enter the consultant procurement process so that we have a qualified consultant to prepare the study. Um, we will come back to you in September with a detailed scope of work and schedule for this uh, important study. But tonight, staff recommends that the authority approve Resolution 19-31-G, authorizing the executive director to execute a restricted grant agreement and any amendments thereto with Caltrans. Cool. Member Romy? I think putting a BART station in, in, in Brentwood would be a great idea, and I'll move the motion. Second. Motion, Romy. Second. Ask you, did I get that right? Yes. Or were you just speaking? Okay. Yes. Uh, any cards to speak to this, Jackie? Seeing none. Nobody wants to, okay. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, abstain, seeing none, 16. You're up again, Matt. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm here to provide you tonight uh, with a status of the submittals of the Growth Management Program Compliance Checklists. Uh, we came to you a few months ago when we only had about five of the 20 checklists in. We've done pretty well since then. We have now 15 of the 20 checklists uh, as of next week will be approved. Um, however, we do have five outstanding. And uh, for those five, uh, basically they have until the end of this month to submit their checklist or submit a uh, statement of progress, which bas basically is the city explaining why they uh, haven't uh, yet completed their checklist. I will note that uh, since uh, the, we published this agenda, uh, City of Walnut Creek has approved their. <laughs> I saw you were the there. Little has, <laughs> has approved their checklist, and I'm told it's on its way to the authority. Um, so we'll take them off the the list. Um, and also Concord is either in process of uh, approval 
and uh, going through uh, going through the approval process now. So we believe there are three that are, have yet to either uh, communicate to us that they are preparing their checklist or uh, submit a statement of progress. And I didn't read who they were, so could you tell us who they are? Just to give them a uh, let's see. Uh, from Concord? west to east, no. Richmond uh, and Pleasant Hill. And the third is Penol. No, we just approved Penol. Let's see. Is Martinez? How could I forget Martinez? The end of this month. Four of the five transmit to Martinez. Good. Two, two are. We think are okay. We know one is okay. We approved it last yeah. night. I spoke to staff today so um, and Fair. warned them that we would be doing this tonight. So um, with your approval, we will uh, directly contact the remaining jurisdictions and let them know their options uh, between now and the end of the month. Okay. Any cards, other comments, questions? Go ahead. So moved. We accept second. the staff report. We have a first from Haskew, second from Mitchoff. All those in favor say aye. Opposed? Aye. No abstention. 17, you're up again, Matt. Are you getting tired? I'm going to hand this one off to Hisham. Good evening, Mr. Chairman and uh, committee members. I'll be happy to handle this item. On March 4th, MTC issued the call for projects for the next RTP, the Regional Transportation Plan. They'll also refer to it as Plan Bay Area 2050. We are asking for your approval tonight of Resolution 1938G, authorizing the submittal of contra costas project list to be included in the RTP. Uh, this list reflect uh, the input we received from the regional transportation planning committees, the cities and the county, as well as the transit operators. Uh, we had worked with them over the last three months to, com to compile this list. The new RTP will cover a 30-year period, starting in 2021 and ending in 2050. Being listed in the RTP is a requirement to receive uh, state and federal money. The first question they ask you when you apply, is your project listed in the RTP? Um, if you say no, then you cannot really apply. So it does not, so being listed allows you to apply, but does not guarantee that your project will be funded. Um, Projects that would increase the capacity of the transportation system and impact the air quality, uh, what MTC calls regionally significant projects, uh, such as adding lanes to freeways, uh, arterials, uh, rail extensions, park and ride lots, these are considered uh, regionally significant and they must be listed individually in the RTP. To make things easier, easier on the sponsors, MTC created programmatic categories in the RTP to cover the other type of projects that we all have, like pit bike improvements, uh, minor widenings uh, of roadways, intersection improvements, pavement rehab jobs, and so on. We don't have to list each and every one of these projects in the RTP. That's why we have the programmatic category, as long as you can uh, say your, the project description fits within these categories, then you're covered. They're technically considered part of the RTP. Uh, the RTP must be constrained to the amount of discretionary funding projected to be available during the RTP period, which unfortunately MTC is not going to release until the fall of this year. Uh, to ensure MTC knows what our Contra Costa priorities are, uh, we are proposing the same approach that we did in the last RTP, uh, where we submit two lists to MTC. The first list is constrained to the amount of funding that we think will be available for us, and that amount is about $3.3 billion. Uh, we call that the financially constrained list. And the second list, we call it the vision list, is basically a backup list of projects that we can add to the RTP uh, if the funding target that we get from MTC is higher than what we estimated, is higher than the 3.3 billion. We used, uh, as I mentioned, the 3.3 billion to constrain our list. Our financially constrained list has in it nine programmatic categories and 48 regionally significant projects. Uh, they cost about $5.2 billion and they need 
about 3.3 billion in funding. Uh, by the way, there is a large handout in front of you that uh, shows the constraint list and the vision list. Whatever we couldn't fit in the constraint list, we added to the vision list. That vision list has 34 regionally significant projects with a funding need of 4.2 billion. Uh, the combined both lists uh, total basically 82 projects, nine programmatic categories, with a total funding need of about seven and a half billion dollars. Uh, I want uh, to note that uh, the list does not include the maintenance needs of pavement or the transit uh, agencies. MTC normally does those separately, and they're still working on them. They will be added to the RTP once that work is done, uh, expected by the end of this year. In terms of the next step, once we submit our list, MTC will do performance analysis on the different projects on the lists. Uh, uh, what if, if the project is more than $250 million, they subject it, they subject it to quantitative analysis uh, to determine the impact on VMT, greenhouse, greenhouse gases, and so on. Um, if it is less, then they do qualitative analysis on the project. The, the goal is for MTC to approve the RTP uh, in 2021. With that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Okay, first we have any cards? Jackie, none. Member Roman? Just a question. Um, as I went through this, I noticed some inconsistencies and some things that weren't quite right with some of the East County projects, and so there is still time to make additions and update to this? Yes, between now and the board meeting, we can update the descriptions if okay. there is any uh, typos or mistakes. And, and the, yeah. There are some descriptions. There's some problem program problem the projects that no longer will exist because we're gonna we'll finish them up as a city, so we might as well get them off the list if we're gonna if we're gonna complete. If the they're completed, like yes, that. we can take them off. Yes, okay. thank you. Right. Do you have any other comments, questions, motions? Move Motion. approval. Second. Okay, that's the approval. First, Romex, second, Abelson for 1938G. One comment, page four of five, 22 SWAT, the autonomous shuttle between Walnut Creek and Dublin. Just in somebody's spare time, would they consider doing a pilot program if we can throw some buses? Might be nice to show that we can fill up the buses. Be terrible if we never put anybody on it. Why would we do? But anyway, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, see nothing for abstention, other business. Is there any? Seeing none, adjourn to the next meeting will be July 10th, not July 3rd. That's for the next planning committee meeting. The next meeting, this special meeting, will start in at least five minutes.